hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to organize bucket here in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do was to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Organizing your Microsoft Planner buckets effectively can help your team stay organized, prioritize tasks, and of course track project progress. Once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the plans in the left side panel of your dashboard. And if you haven't already, you might want to click on the plans that you're working right here. If you don't, don't go back to the plans because this plan is already um, deleted. So let's click the new plan. And from here, you can start with a uh, simple basic with list and board, or if you can go to the specific templates like simple plan, project management, software development, business plan, and employee and boarding. For example, I'm going to be choosing the employee and boarding. From here, all I have to do is click, click the use template. You can rename the uh, plan something like this, all right? And click on create. Just wait for it while things are being set up by Microsoft Planner for you. Remember that creating buckets for each phase of a project such as planning, execution, review, and completion is one of the best things here in Microsoft Planner. All right, so. Now, you want to make sure that you are on the grid view because on the board view, you're not going to be able to uh, add new buckets here. For example, these are going to be the buckets, right? You want to organize your buckets according to your preferences. Well, the first thing is, you see there's going to be the bucket section. You can choose to organize them by their progress. For example, all of those are completed. You might want to check, for example, the orientation is already um, in progress. All right, technology is already in progress. Of course, this is in progress. Some of the uh, options here are already completed. So these are some of the ways for you to be able to organize your buckets. After that, you might want to check the label. You can choose any different colors. For example, this becomes dark green. This becomes like uh, plum. This becomes like lavender. All right. And then I want you to go again to the board section where you can have an overall organization of the buckets, wherein you can one bucket can go to the left one bucket can go to the right if you don't want dragging it just click on the uh, three dots icon here where you can rename the bucket delete move and let for example this one right here the buckets um is gonna be called all right yeah, press enter this one is gonna be called you get that and again, after doing so, you can delete any buckets that they feel like are not already part of the uh, the progress. If you feel like there's like repetition. Now, as you can see, this organization helps our team members see what needs immediate attention, manage workloads more efficiently, and plan resources according to the priority, right? So it's a lot easier now to check in this kind of bucket. And if you wanted to add a new bucket, just click on the add a new bucket here. Put in the name. And of course, you can add more tasks as you go along the way. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.